Hello kids, welcome to our class. Today, we're gonna see a new story. This is the story of Ilex Ibex. You can use your pace of world building or animal science. Page 1. Have you ever known a show-off? Let me tell you about a real show-off. He was an Ibex. Do you know what an Ibex is? It is a wild goat that lives in the mountains. An ibex has big curving horns. He jumps from rock to rock and runs across snow with easy. Page 2 Once there was an ibex named Ilex Ibex, who was very proud of his gray coat in the summer. Ilex Ibex was also proud of his brown coat in the winter. Ilex Ibex was even proud of his coat when it was changing colors. Ilex Ibex spent a great deal of time admiring himself. Whenever Ilex Ibex met another Ibex, he did say, Your fur coat is nice, but I don't think it is as nice as mine. Everyone agreed that Ilex Ibex did have a wonderful coat, but to tell the truth, they became tired of hearing Ilex Ibex talk about it. Page 3. One day, as another Ibex came to get a drink in a quiet mountain pool, he found Ilex Ibex admiring himself in the mirror-like water. Ilex Ibex threw up his head and waved his horns proudly. My coat is beginning to turn a brownish color. Just look how the light makes it shine. The other Ibex only gave a sigh. His coat was beginning to change too. But he did not go around bragging about it. After all, that's how an ibex is. Gray in the summer and brown in the winter. Proud Ilex Ibex kept on admiring himself. Did you ever see such a fine coat as mine? I really feel quite proud of it. As the other ibex looked at Ilex Ibex, he inquired, You must be very wise. What do you do to make your coat so nice? Why, I, um, take good care of my coat, of course, answered Alex Ibex. Yes, the Ibex friend agreed, but did you do something wise to make it look so fine and nice? Alex Ibex fidgeted a bit and then he sighed. Well, no, I guess I didn't grow that way because of any special thing I did. God gave me a coat just like all the other Ibexes. Page 4 I know what it might be, said the other Ibex. You must be an especially good Ibex to be so handsome. Maybe your good coat shows that you are kind, unselfish and always thoughtful of others. Alex Ibex really screamed now. Ilex Ibex remember how he had once made fun of a scrawny Ibex with thin fur. Ilex Ibex remember pushing aside a small Ibex to get a nice clump of juicy grass. Ilex Ibex remember his bragging and showing off. Suddenly, Ilex Ibex did not feel proud at all. No, Ilex Ibex said. I'm afraid it isn't because I'm good. In fact, I guess I really haven't done anything to deserve my beautiful coat. It is not wise to think so highly of yourself. Maybe you should be thankful for your fine coat, as I am for mine. I'm glad to have a warm coat, answered the wise Ibex. Right, replied Alex Ibex, as he humbly looked at his coat. I will forget my pride and be thankful for my nice coat. So kids, let's give thanks to the Lord for all he gives to us. We don't deserve such good gifts, but he, in his mercy, gave it to us. On your page of animal science on page 6, color the picture. On page 7, finish drawing the kite, then color the picture. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.